Hello, hello. This is Pat with the Petresca Papers. I am out in the Bluebird Bungalow. It is January 2nd, 2023. Had to think about that. And I uh, have a new project to share with you and a new digital kit. And <clears throat> I have to tell a funny... Well, I don't know how funny it is. I had um, one of my subscribers give me a nudge. She said, is all you're going to do little houses? And I started thinking about, I had a bunch of things prior to Christmas, and Christmas just kind of blew me away. So I got busy, and here is my next digital kit and next project. And they are, <laughs> there's got to be a cute name for them, junk in the trunk, junk journals, or I'm not sure. I am not sure. But they will, these, this digital kit will make a journal, little journal, or I have an idea that <clears throat> we can make. I think I've got it out here. But like one of those expanding folders with it since it opens like this. But today I'm going to show you how to turn this into a little trunk journal. Ooh, maybe that's what it should be. Not junk, chunk, trunk, junk journal. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So the digital kit, <clears throat> pardon me, will include three trunks, two different papers for your signatures, along with a lining sheet for your trunks, which can also be used as a signature page. All right, now I think that I am going to make this one right here. This one, well, you know, no, because, no. And I'll, I think this one is going to be, when I come back and do another video, doing the expanding pockets. Let's do, let's do that one, okay? And I, you can see there are some kind of uh, blurry lines. These are scoring and cutting lines. These can go away. Now, something that I did on this one, I did some fussy cutting around this hardware. I think I'm not going to this time. I'm going to cut it off. So I'm bringing out my We Are Memory, We Are Memory Keepers trimmer and scoring board, and I'm going to cut right along here, saving these pieces for later, and cutting off that, is that right, that's right, right along there, yeah, I don't think it made that much difference with the other one that I did. And I do believe I am cutting off this white along the top. Yeah, look at that. Did I cut it off? No. Well, I think we can distress it. Let's see if distressing hides that white. It does. It does, it does. Okay. There will be more distressing in our future. Oh, not yet. We gotta do some scoring. 
So we are going to score. And if you don't have a score board, you can use your ruler and a soft surface and something like a bone folder or even I've got a crochet hook out here. I think that would even work if I were going to need something to make an indention in indent indent in my paper indention. All right. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to score at the bottom of the bottom of the trunk. And as you look at this, this is the trunk that you would put things in. This is the opening. This is the lid of the trunk and it will make more sense as you watch. Okay. Now I'm going to do a half inch spine. Okay. So that's what we've got so far. We're not scoring on the top of of the trunk, but we are going up a half an inch from the top. Okay? Just right along there. Fold that half inch down, which gives us some strength on that trunk. All right? And now we work our way up to the top. And we're going to do a score right on the top of that trunk, right along there. Am I crooked? Yes, I am. Let's try it again, right along there. And then a half inch away from that. All right. Fold that. Fold that. So now this is what we have. Oh, I think I think I want to cut just a smidge more off of this. I know I I distressed it. I think yes, because I want this to be right that meets that locking mechanism. Okay? All right. Now, this I believe we are done with. And I there are different ways that I've been thinking about how we could close this. Because with this, it does need something to hold it closed. So I pulled out some brown ribbon that could go around and tie it closed. I was even thinking that there could be a pocket put on the back on top of the ribbon so the ribbon is always attached and I might do that in one of the other ones that I will be doing and but I'm gonna do magnets on this one and I think I need to do some distressing as I talk about things um, the subscriber who mentioned you know is little house is all you're going to do one of, and I kind of fell into a habit with that. I, I love with my kits, the digital kits I'm creating, to give the purchaser lots of ideas on how to use the kit if they bought it. Where if you haven't bought the kit, I can see where it would be like, well, you're like a broken record. So... But do know that with this trunk, I will be showing some different ways to use it. Now, if you don't buy the 
the digital kit. There, this could be made from some pretty paper. It doesn't have to be a trunk. You can utilize this as a nice cover for a small journal. It doesn't have to be made with the digital. I just need to let you know that. It's not just a one time, one thing. Um, you can use the, the things I'm showing you to make a, a journal cover of, of whatever pattern paper you want. Okay, just wanna make that clear. Let me just, I think it is much easier when it's not all attached. Okay, all right. So, what I was talking about, I am going to use some little, thin, strong magnets, okay? They're called Neodyme, I believe, and I got them on Amazon. I will put a link below. They're not very expensive, and they will do a wonderful job if, if I put them on right. So, the reason we kept that, we do that flap, and that we kept the white. You know, I'm going to go ahead. Oh, what was that? An old napkin. All right. I sh you know what? I'm going to cut it off. I don't know why, just because. Because it wasn't covering up really well with my distress ink that I've got out. Let's just trim that off. Okay. Okay, okay. And now just a smidge on the edge of that so it's not just so white. All right. And there's still white in here, but that's not going to be seen. All right. I need some double-sided tape. I could use glue, but double-sided tape is going to assure me of a a nice sticky surface for my magnets. So I'm going to put, I think this is quarter inch tape right along there. All right. And make sure I've got a good Good contact with that and I'm gonna go ahead and pull off the paper and I'm going to take a magnet and I'm gonna put it right there okay kind of lining it up am I well, oh, you know what I can do? I can turn it back on itself there so I can see. There and there, right there. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to adhere that down. All right, now for the other magnets, I'm going to put them on top of these and I need to make sure, I mean, if you try to put it on wrong, it won't go because there's a, a pole and they will fight each other. I think everybody knows that. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm looking to see where I need to put my tape. So I think I'm going to use a wider tape. Where is my wider tape? There's a wider tape. And come down just a bit from the top. Okay. 
And you, yes, you can use glue. You could use some glue dots, but the, the double-sided tape makes this much easier. All right. So, when I take this tape off, I have to be very careful and not push everything down. All I want to do is push down on those magnets and then peel this back carefully and they should have stuck. One did, one didn't. Let's do it again. Pull this back. Oh, what is wrong? Am I not lining you up? Okay, let's do this again, just this side. I feel the other one clicking. Okay, do I not have tape there? Let's find out. Oh, there we did it. There we go. All right. Now, to cover these up, and I, uh, I do need another strip of tape right and I'm going to put it on top of the uh, right on top of these magnets like that and this is where I told you to, that we needed to save the the off cut where this is going to come in handy And we'll put that right on. Let's cut that off. Let's cut off this white. And we will. I need, you know what I do need is another. I think I'm going to run a strip of glue right up along this top. And I didn't get my tape right on there, and I think we'll just add a little more glue there so we can do moving if we need to. All right, on, on, on. And let's trim this off. Okay, let's see how we did. Okay, so this folds up and clicks closed. So there is our trunk and we're going to put in, since it's a half inch spine, we're going to put in two signatures and I have my signatures ready. I've used the papers in the digital kit along with just this kind of a creamy tan paper. And I, for this, this was six inches. So I cut my paper, well it's not six inches. This is more than six inches. What are you? You must be about, whoa, you are six and five eighths, six and five eighths. But I just went with six for my signatures and I've made me a guide for six inches, which really should have been the full length of this, but I'm just going to um, put it on here evenly and make my guide holes for my needle to go through. This is going to be a two stitch, two stitch signature. And so I'm trying to put it right on that seam, or on that fold, not seam, 
and then I'm going oh I did. So I've got this piece of styrofoam from some packing and I can see down here and I can see up here that was one of the reasons I wanted to distress and you may not be able to see it it's kind of light and I'm gonna punch with my awl all right so that's ready you can't really see ready for my signatures can't see trust me it is all right now I made these holes with a very tiny hole punch that I have and I used the throat of it to guide me to where I wanted my holes so because I did that I can do the same with my pages I am going to put a clip on and I want to make sure since there is some writing in here that I've got it upright and let's do it with this one too and I do have some smaller sheets in there that I've hopefully are you centered no nope, you're not Let's get you up there centered a little better and let's see where's those other smaller sheets there and there that looks good and I'll check the other one there's another clip okay let's look at these let's see so we've got that one centered, centered, and you could come down just a bit. Okay. Hope everyone had a great Christmas and a good start to 2023. Let's hope for a better year than last year. I lost, had several dear friends and family members pass away and so I'm 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 hoping for good things this year all right so here I'm going to push down as far as I can and make sure I'm in my crease punch and same on the other side, going up as far as the throat of this will allow. Did pretty good with that. And now let's do the same this way. And I've got to work with the lighting so that it shows me where I need to be. And where is that? That's it. All right. Now, here is my thread. And I, I prefer to use, uh, I believe it's a needle point needle. It's got a blunt tip. So, to do the two st stitch... I'm going to go, I want to have my, I'm going to have my strings inside. And I want to try something different than when I did the other one. I, I only went in and out. So this is going to be the one on the top. Okay. I'm going to have it come in here. Oh. Come back here, needle. Ah, uh, there it is. And go in through there. I think what I'm going to do is go in and out again. So, at least take this one around and come back in again. 
so that I, I had some issues tying my square knot since I didn't, I, nothing was grabbing. So I'll try it. So that will come out here. I'm going to gently tug both directions. And I did not give myself much of a tail, did I? So I'm going to do left over right. Oh, see, it's doing the, it's being just as finicky. Left over right. And it's not going to make it in the middle. And then I want to do right over left. Let's see, can we get that in there tighter? Oh, this was where I, I need another finger. Someone, someone, put your finger in here. Okay, let's see if I can do it while holding. I'm not very good at this. I can tie bows. This, ooh, come on. All right, let's see if we can get that to go tight. Come on, go tight. Okay, I think I did it. All right, trim that off. Trim off a little off of you. And there is one signature in our junk, trunk, trunk, junk journal. Trunk junk journal. I think that's it. Okay, then I need a little more. One, two, enough. I am going to put a pocket on the back and some pockets on the pages. I, I want to have some lace trim on different pages. That, so as you open it, it's kind of got a clothing effect. I plan on finding some ephemera that will be included with the digital kit that will be geared to clothing. I have some old ladies' home journals that I've been gleaning some interesting ephemera out of. So that will be part of the kit. It will be available on my Etsy shop, which will be linked below. And I would love you to come and join my Facebook group, Petresca Papers. And I'll link that below. And also... If you enjoy what you're seeing and looking at some of my other projects, um, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, love comments, love comments that nudge me and get me creating. I've got a lot of videos on using junk mail envelopes, junk mail, different things. Over Christmas, though, I was really, I really was involved with my little houses. It was just, it was a lot of fun, and a lot of um, you expressed how much fun you were having with the little houses. So it kind of kept, kept me going. All right, so here, that was left over right, and now right over left. Did I do it? I think I did it. I think it's tight enough. Okay, and take that and that. Okay, so there we are. And I think, let me put, I'm going to put a pocket in here really quick. I am using, what am I using? I'm going to use some of this, and this was a one that I printed that was that came out not so good. So 
let's do some measuring. How big do we want this pocket? Let's see. So four inches. So let's make it three and three and I think three and three quarters sounds good. Let's cut off that white. Oh, ho, ho, ho. My shed is very and I know the, the humidity is high. Today, here in Georgia, 74 degrees. Honestly. But a change is coming. I'm going to do two and a half inches. And get my... Punch right there. Get a little distressing. And let's put this on back here. Probably would have been nice to have that be a bit of a of a contrast. But it is what it is right now. Right there. Could have been a little bit wider, it looks like. Let's see. Do you fit in there? Yes, you do. Library card. Or from a... a uh, whatever. Card catalog. All right. So... I don't think I'm going to put a pocket on the front, but it could have a belly band, couldn't it? It could have a belly band. I think I want right now. So that is the cute little trunk. And if you didn't do magnets, you could do a little tie like this. I was even thinking that if you put a pocket on the back, you could do two strings that would kind of mimic those straps on a on a trunk. <laughs> what are you doing? Let's pull you back off of there because you're making it do silly things. And but a pocket on the back would be fun. One of those gusseted pockets, like I have another video on, and I will link that below because that would be a nice thing to have on the back. I don't think I've got anything with one of those out. Yeah. Nope. And these pockets in here can have some pockets put on them with some of the leftover paper. All right. Okay, well, this, again, will be a digital kit available in my Etsy shop. Watch for other things to come along. This was a prototype, and this is what I was talking about, those uh, expanding pockets. So this will be something that we'll do with this larger size in upcoming videos. Well, thank you so much for watching today. Happy New Year. Appreciate all of you. Have a great day. Great first week of January. Talk to you later.
बाय